It says it's compatible with, well, everything you see there. Looks like a, uh, looks like it's compatible with a microwave, a game controller, an iPod, a cell phone, and uh, some kind of frisbee in a cube. So let's open it up, see what it comes with. Inside we have this little tote bag for carrying the device, which is very cool. If we look in further inside, we notice the AC adapter is actually uh, kind of neat because it serves another purpose. Um, it's a USB AC adapter, which if you have an iTouch or an iPod, you can also use that to charge up your device. So I didn't have one of those before. We like that because things by Apple are expensive. And it comes with a USB cable that you need to charge the device, which plugs into the AC adapter. Uh, lanyard. And you got various different cables. Um, you got one here that uh, connects directly into uh, a DVD player, which I'll show you in a little while. There's an iPod cord. Um, there's a standard AV cord, which you can imagine is yellow, white, and red. If we uh, get a little further in here, we see that we have one of these delightful little face masks, which goes over the unit to block out any excess light. Uh, that's helpful, or at least it should be. I'll talk about that later. And last but not least, we have the View 6 AV920 itself. Lovely. It's got the logo on the front which is kind of stylish. The thing does have some nice presentation. It does look very professionally made. Uh, the design is kind of cool. As you can see there's basically just two eyepieces you look through. A little nose uh, rubber thing that sits on your nose, leaves a crease and itches after a while. It's got two stems just like traditional sunglasses. They actually do sit on your ear although a lot of people's heads might be bigger than the thing actually fits so if you have a really big head these things might kind of squeeze you. The earpieces uh, are bendable and adjustable so you can actually bend them like flexi straws which kind of uh, worries me that they might break later on. Um, you can see as I'm demonstrating right here that they are removable thankfully in case you should not want to use them perhaps. They've got those little uh, microchip tabs or contacts on them or whatever. And that's how the device looks. I will give this unit a plus because of this cord right here. Um, I was starting to feel like this thing was really made for me um, because I already own this Panasonic PV40 DVD player with no screen and uh, I remember an old product called the iTrek that was made to directly plug into that and as it turns out, this device is also made to directly plug into that, as you can see right here. In the side, the audio and video plugs um, take the cord that came with the V6, and it works really well. And actually, it's a pleasure. Um, depending on what model of uh, head-mounted display technology you get, uh, there's a different experience on everyone as far as picture quality and um, really how much of the screen you can see even sometimes. Um, you can see all of the screen pretty good in this thing. It it has kind of a fisheye lensy kind of effect inside though. You kind of have to move it around your face to get to, uh, to be able to see everything pretty clearly. Uh, it never looks quite perfect. But the resolution is really good, uh, really decent. Um, if you've ever looked at a camcorder eyepiece, like squinted one eye and looked in there, this is pretty much like looking at two of those at once. It, uh, that kind of has an effect on your eyes. It makes you feel like you're looking at a, uh, a big screen, it's kind of, you know, but it's still going to strike you as small if you've never used these before and don't know what you're getting into. Um, let's see. Another cool thing about these glasses is that they're stereoscopic 3D capable, which means if you own any uh, stereoscopic 3D movies, like Alien Adventure or... Uh, What's another one? Encounters in the third dimension. Movies like this were in IMAX theaters. They at home they require like shutter glasses, um, similar to the Sega Master System. If you ever owned one of those, 
back in the day, the uh, Sega Master had 3D glasses that you played games with. So um, it's that kind of effect, really. Inside the glasses, 3D images come out from the movies. So it's kind of fun. It's a novelty and it wears off kind of quickly, but it's still kind of cool considering you used to have to pay a lot of extra money to get glasses to have 3D technology inside. Here's why I don't like this product very much. I hooked it to my PlayStation 2 and um, this is the slim model and I just tried playing Silent Hill 2 on the PlayStation 2 through the glasses and everything looked fine. Then when I popped in a PlayStation 1 game into my the same console, the PlayStation 2, something really weird happened with the glasses. The brightness started going up without me doing anything. The color was getting all smeared. Anything that moved on screen was um, burning into the display like, like a monitor that has no screensaver. It was weird. I played a Dreamcast game and everything looked fine. Everything worked out good. Then I went back to an old system like Sega Saturn. Same problem. The screen will not display those games. The screen gets all destroyed, like images burn into it. And it makes absolutely no sense. It's ridiculous. I've had products before like this that I played 32X and Sega CD on, Saturn, just any system, and it worked just fine. But this, these View 6 glasses are not compatible with any game console made before 1998. That's ridiculous. So if we recap, the pros are... Um, apparent and easy to find real quick. It's got a very small size, it's very light, connects to iPod video, and it's also compatible with the iTouch. Connects directly to my Panasonic PV40 DVD player, which is cool. The battery life is very good. I like the AC adapter, it's got a light shield, stereoscopic 3D capable, has uh, different uh, settings that you can do to enhance the picture, and the headphones are removable. That's all great. Now, the reason you should not buy this is immediately apparent, unless you don't care. It's not compatible with pre-1998 game consoles. So that that does it for me. I'm going to sell it. The headphones, on the other hand, they also hurt your ears, kind of, because they're earbuds and everybody hates those. Uh, the thing mashes on your nose when it sits on your face. Uh, the eye touch adapter doesn't come with it, come with it which kind of stinks. Um, and the light shield. I'm a little picky with this problem. It's not really a huge one. Um, this visor kind of clips on to help block out light, um, like this, which is uh, which is helpful. It definitely is helpful. But the thing is, the the top part of it right here kind of doesn't rest on your head quite right, and it kind of cuts off like a sliver of the top of the screen you see inside so you kind of have to keep kind of have to keep uh, pushing it up a little a little more on your face to see the screen and uh, in order to see the whole screen you kind of have to push it in to your face hard so I mean it's it's not too bad it's just kind of cumbersome overall I would have to say not to buy these because the fact that I can't play old game consoles on them is ridiculous. I can't I can't enjoy these because I have that little Sega CD module, the Sega CD CDX, um, and it's so compact and it, and you can take it wherever you go. To have a little pair of glasses and a little system that plays Genesis and Sega CD games is why I wanted these because it was just the ultimate thing for me because I like playing the old systems and I think millions of us like playing the old systems. So if you can't play old systems on these, then they're pointless. So that's one big reason I would say not to get them. If you don't care about old systems and you're just into the here and now, or maybe you're just into watching DVDs on a mini DVD player, then I'd say they're a good product. The resolution is very good. It's 920,000 pixels, which is pretty close to your computer monitor. It's not too far off. Um, it comes with some good accessories. You can plug it directly into your iPod if you have one of those, which I do. Um, I would have included the iPod Touch accessory in the bunch, but they didn't really do that. But it does come with the iPod video accessory. And the battery pack is just so small, so compact. I really like that. And it lasts a long time, about eight hours or so. So, but I wouldn't buy it because it doesn't play the old game systems. So. It's up to you.